So we're gonna start this out with a life lesson. I don't know if this pertains to this, but whatever. People's appearances reflect a lot on their work ethic. If someone can't take care of themselves, if they can't control their eating, if they can't fucking clean their house or cut their grass, it's gonna tell you how their performance in the workplace is gonna be. It's gonna be, I, I told you so. Anyway, that's my little frustration. We're gonna put that out there beforehand. Now, today we're looking at an Airbnb for $650,000. I'm actually gonna write that all out because that's a lot of zeros. 650,000.00. That looks like a lot. All right, so it's only two bedroom, two bedroom. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to look at it soon, but we're gonna break down the rough numbers right now, right? And then we'll come back if we need to look at anything else we will. So, we're gonna say that I know the area here, it's gonna rent for $350 a night. It's gonna rent, I would say 30, we'll take 10, we'll lose 10 nights, it's gonna rent 20 nights a month. 350 times 20, 7,000. So monthly income will be $7,000. Uh, that's good. 7,000 even if we were paying a mortgage of... I need an office. I need an office. I'll be much less distracted with an office. All right, so 7,000, uh, that's good. I think that's good. Now. My old numbers used to be, I would want 7,000, this is on the safe side too, so I would want 7,000 for a $400,000 investment, but the market has drastically changed. The other thing about this house is, it's along the water and has an amazing view. That specific setup, there's not many uh, houses left up down the market. So 650 is a little bit high, but long-term investment, cash flow be less, but it's gonna be a better, it's gonna be a better long-term hold. So, Good. I mean, minimum seven thousand. Uh, I would. I would guess that expenses would be three thousand dollars a month, which leaves us with four thousand. So even if I had to pull two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars out of it, I would still be breaking even. Seems like a good deal right now. Not the best deal. Not the best deal, but to secure a market. To secure a house in the market right here, in the Flathead Valley, to make seven thousand dollars a month, and then uh, own a six hundred fifty thousand dollars house, that's it's gonna it's gonna go up in value. It's worth looking at. We're gonna go look at it. So we crunched the numbers. Don't laugh at me. I'm a fucking professional. <laughs> I just pictured Michael Scott. <laughs> I would like you to crunch those numbers again. It's a program, there's no such thing. Just crunch them, just crunch them, please. <laughs> crunch the numbers. <laughs> All right, so I crunched the numbers, and now we're going to see the house. Um, this is always the fun part, because as much as I think you do work on paper, we could show up at the house, and it could be a bag of We don't know that until we see it. Um, so. This is it, it's 1.15, we're about 15 minutes early. I like to get there early and sort of get the lay of the land. Um, we actually stayed over here a while ago. Dan, I think this is by Evelyn's house, <gasps> oh, which Evelyn. is dangerous because in Montana, there's no building regulations or inspections or permitting, really. It's like pretty loose. It's freedom, which I love freedom. But at the same point in time, when you have the freedom to build your house out of popsicle sticks, it gets a little dangerous. Wait, is this it there? Am That's I? That's Evelyn's to the left. 
Oh yeah, here we yeah. go. We got a for sale sign. This is it. This is it. staring at me. That was the thing. She has like little figurine horses everywhere. You know, when you walk through a house, it's hard not to comment on stuff like that. And she was there the whole time hiding in the basement. I feel like an asshole right She's now. Still hiding in the basement. She's still, still in like, there. You know, like, can we not even go, like, what is she? And she didn't even turn around. She no. was facing there when Drew's like, oh, this isn't finished. Here? And she said, I'll finish it. Yeah. She's on the computer, but she's like back in a closet. Because I want to go like look in the bedroom. Yeah, but she's sort of in there. It's just, a, it, yeah. you're not supposed to be in the house hiding when we come to look at the house. I'm so stressed out right now. As far as Airbnb goes, this grass is really annoying. These like, these dog areas, but we could set something up there. As far as this goes, if this is finished and you put in pong and like stuff like that, I remember when I was driving here and I said there's gonna be a lot of like math to figure out if this makes sense. This is the math part. You see my brain being down the numbers right now. Yeah, remember when internet? Can you tell me this is the code? I think that's internet. <laughs> what is this? This is uh, this is my Wi-Fi. <laughs> Would then be sick. Then I mean, that bathroom would be sick too. The crazy thing is, we're looking at, <laughs> we're looking at a house action. that's already top of budget, and now we're like, yeah, let's spend 40 grand on walls and electrical. I mean, this would be a sick bedroom though. Bedroom's not bad, and the bedroom downstairs is like a little less than desirable, I think. Got it again. Because you're saying right now, it's, two bedroom, and it's like. It's small, but she has like a giant. She has a big office thing yeah. in there. The kitchen downstairs sort of sucks. Train, I mean, downstairs. Train's nice, dude. Don't yeah. hate that train. I think yeah. if we make that into a. How else do you get bedroom. to the west, man? How else do you get to the west? You gotta ride the train out here. Like Montana, things, like the bathroom being like all wood is fine. We're we'll gonna have to go back and run the. Uh, wait, do we need to recap what just happened? <laughs> oh my god. Can we, can we, I wish you were there when the lady's like, I'll do it. I've <laughs> heard like, that. Oh my God, right. who's in here? So we're going to start from the top. We went to look at the house. The house is a little strange, layout wise. In addition to that, it's someone's house that they live in and they have figurines and dolls and horses everywhere. So we naturally do what we do, which is you make a comment about them because we're assholes. Uh, the homeowner was hidden away like in a closet in the basement on her computer. So Drew said, wow, I wish they would have finished the construction because the drywall wasn't done. And she goes, I'll finish it. And we were like, what? Because the owner's not supposed to be in the house. I get, you know, like, yikes. I've never had that happen before. Um, so we kept looking. The problem with the house is it's a little strange. A little? Uh, it's very strange. The, the, the layout's just not right. It's, uh, there's like a half kitchen upstairs. There's a full kitchen in the basement. The bathroom needs to be replaced. Um, we need to run some numbers. Uh, we need to crunch. I was actually right here last time I said we need to crunch the numbers. We need to go re-crunch. 
Ouch. Quick, but in my heart, uh, I think I'll be putting in an offer for 650 cash today just to shoot my shot. Um, the other problem is that's all the I have in the world right now. Um, I'm a little, I'm very spread out. So this would, I need to take into consideration I'm not gonna refinance. And with this being all of the money I have, um, I'm gonna not be ready for other deals coming up, right? So if I'm, if something else good comes up, I just won't have the cash uh, to get it. So, you know, I like taking risks though. So we got our rough numbers where, I forget what we said earlier, $36,000 a year. We said $84,000 gross. So my only comparable house is the A-frame, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the A-frame income and then I'm gonna expense the river house because I know the expenses are right for the river house. So last year would be worst case scenario because that was COVID. And for a while they shut down travel, right? which that's my biggest fear because if they shut down travel, my Airbnbs don't rent. Literally worst scenario. Now I could have sold the house and made a profit, but as far as income, it didn't happen. So last year on the A-frame, $63,500. And that's like worst case scenario because I think we shut down for three months where we just had no bookings. Um, so the house just sat vacant. Now, so 63 is not that good, but once again, worst case scenario. That's also two bedroom. Uh, now we're gonna take the expenses, which will just take the expenses from last year's river house, which is 33, 516, we'll just say 500. And we get $30,000, 30. All right, so now, with the worst year ever, um, I'll make $30,000. Now, let's, let's figure out what that is a month. Divided by 30, divided by 12. So, we're making $2,500 a month. Now, if I was taking a mortgage on this house, that doesn't make sense because $2,500 won't, I don't think will cover a $650,000 mortgage. I mean, it'll be close, it'll be too close for comfort. But we're going in cash heavy because, well, we're going in all cash because that hillside, the mountain view, the water, it's the second house to the end. Um, that house is only gonna go up in value. So I'm looking at that more as, if it can hold my investment, if it can return $30,000 a year, worst case scenario too, best case scenario, so that would be a $50,000 return. $51,000 a year doesn't sound that bad. What does that house need? Ah, wowie wowie. Basement, I think the basement needs $10,000 with paint and updating the bathroom. So we wanna make a third bedroom which that wall is, let's say $5,000. There's no air conditioning in that house. So we need to, we need to add a split unit upstairs. That's $12,000. Well, that would be the split unit for upstairs and, and downstairs, but that would be $12,000. Uh, the garage needed attention. I would say, I would say insulate drywall garage and then add couches, TV, things like that. It's another $10,000. Let's say, an, Let's say another $5,000 to furnish. It's getting gross real quick. All right, so we're at $42,000, which puts us at like a $700,000, or $694,000 house. All right, so this deal is looking a little bit more gross, the more that, uh, so I'd break even the first year. Um, I don't like it, man. So if this deal was anywhere else, it would be a hard no, guaranteed. Me understanding where we're at, what Montana's doing, Glacier National Park being right down the road, it makes it a little more okay. 
Also knowing that we don't have to do a lot of this construction at first. I mean, we don't, we don't have to do the basement for ten thousand dollars. We don't. Well, we don't have to put that wall in. The AC is sort of a we would want to do that now. We don't have to do the garage for ten grand. But we do have to do five grand furniture. So I feel like I need to make a decision right now. What do you guys think? Comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll make the decision based on positive or negative votes. How about that? Well, my opinion? Oh, let's take Dana's opinion. I said the bathroom's fine. You leave it as is. You do the third bedroom. You leave pretty much everything as is. That bathroom is fine. Do you want to buy it? Do you think we should? Uh, I wish it wasn't so expensive. Wait, so if we were purchasing this house and we were using someone else's money, uh, I just typed in mortgage calculator here. So I'm using Google's numbers. So we put in $650,000. We put in a 30 year fixed uh, at about a 4% interest rate. Uh, it says my credit score is a 700, which I'm like a 720 right now. Um, monthly payment is $2,900. So I pay a lot of people to do a lot of stuff with this house. Um, being that we're out here, cleaners are more expensive. It's just, everything's a little, everyone thinks Montana's cheaper, but it's a little more expensive. Um, and then also, because I have so many different houses, I, I pay people to take care of stuff. So, with our minimum of $7,000 a month, which Dana just told me it needs no updates, if we take out 29 from that, 2,900, that leaves us at 4,100, with having 4100 left over, like your expenses, you would still cash flow two grand. And if you're gonna cash flow two grand, so let's say $2,000 in expenses, if you still cash flow two grand, um, I think you're good. I think you're good. The big thing there is $650,000. Once again, this isn't financial advice. I need to say that right. Don't listen to me. This is for me specifically. So I would be looking at this as $650,000. I still cash flow 2,000. Um, and honestly, in this market, if, if Montana keeps doing what it does, this house will always be worth $650,000. Not only that, but it will probably reappraise higher at some point in time. You'll have to get it appraised to buy it, but when it reappraises higher, so say it reappraises at 800,000, right? 800,000 you can refinance after you rent it for a year, you know it does that and the market goes up. When you refinance, you keep 20% in, you pull your 80% out, you're gonna get all of your money that you put your down payment back. It's in uh, rehabbing, it's called the Burr Method. If you don't know it, go to Bigger Pockets Podcast, look it up, you go to their website, look it up, they'll teach it to you. But that's sort of the Burr Method it's actually completely different than the Burr method, but uh, with refinancing it and sort of treating it as a business. I came from the mud.